What's going on YouTube? It's Devin from Beats Aesthetics and today I wanted to talk to you guys about the 2014 Mr. Olympia Men's Bodybuilding Pre-Judging. It's about 2.30 a.m. The pre-judging is over with and I've been getting questions left and right and the biggest and most common question I've got since the Mr. Olympia Pre-Judging has been over is what do I think about the big almost to be fight on the stage between Kai Green and Phil Heath? I honestly guys think it's staged. I believe they're trying to do what WWE does, build you know fake fights, fake drama to bring in more people into the sport of bodybuilding to make the IFBB more money. Um, to me, it looks like it's their way of just trying to make more money. That's that's just my honest opinion, guys. I don't think that was a real fight at all. Um, it just looks so staged to me personally. I've watched WWE for about 10 years of my life growing up. From the age of like 4 to 14, I was really big into WWE. And then after 14 years old, I got more into bodybuilding. But anyways, to me, it looked like that. It could I could be wrong. I mean, it's just my two cents, guys. But if it is, it's just them creating drama to bring more attention to bodybuilding. Because to be honest, guys, the mainstream doesn't care about bodybuilding but now if you have a battle or a fight or this drama between two of the top bodybuilders more and more people are going to be interested in watching um, you know bodybuilding anyways besides that guys um, a lot of these competitors today in my opinion looked off um, the three people that stood out the most to me that made the biggest improvements was Sean Roden I honestly think he looked a lot bigger and um, better than he did ever before. Steve Kuklo definitely made a big difference in my opinion this year. And I'm trying to think of Big Ram, he looked insane this year. I think those three guys made a huge improvements. Um, but everyone else to me, um, and Branch Warren, he definitely, he's the fourth guy on that list that made improvements since last year. He definitely looked a lot better in terms of his um, his flow. And he definitely his conditioning was on point. The graininess of that guy is just on another level. And his vascularity and his upper pecs and shoulders is just just nuts. But the big story is Phil Heath. How did he look to Kai Green? How did Kai compare to Phil Heath? I honestly think Kai looked great. But I don't think his conditioning was as good as I thought it was going to be. It looked a tad bit off when he first came out. He looked better as um, the pre-judging went on. But, to a big surprise, Phil Heath, in my opinion, guys, looked off bad. He looked like he was out of gas when he was posing. He looked like he was posing slowly. He didn't look typed up. He looked less 3D looking. He just didn't look like he did last year or the previous two years before that where he's won his Mr. O title. Um, unfortunately, I don't think Kai brought his A game though, so even though Phil Heath was off, I still do not think Kai is going to win the 2014 Mr. Olympia. As the old saying goes, to beat the champ, you got to beat the champ. And even though the champ was off, Kai wasn't on 100%. I think he's looked better and leaner in the past. He definitely has got size on, on uh, Phil, that's with no question. But he did not bring the insane conditioning that, you know, um, some of the other guys did that was actually surprised so in this order I think it's going to be once again Phil Heath number one just say this finger number one then Kai Green then Sean Roden without a doubt Sean Roden definitely looked better than Dennis Wolf hands down his aesthetics if I was personally the judge of Mr. Lampia I would have Sean Roden as the Mr. Lampia but it doesn't work like that Sean Roden third, and then I'm going to say Dennis Wolf fourth, and then Big Ramy. I think, in my opinion, it's got fifth on lock. Other news, um, Dexter looked like he faded. A lot of people were saying that he was going to come in bigger than ever. Um, personally, to me, it looked like his calves lost a good amount of mass in the past few years, especially this year. His upper body looked great. His conditioning was good as usual, but it wasn't insanely good like it has been in the past. And he just looked off. Um, like I said earlier, I think a lot of these guys today just looked a little bit off. Um, so I don't think he's going to be beating Big Ramy. And I think he's going to be, honestly, anywhere between 7th and 8th position. So 
that's about it, guys. I really don't know after that. It's hard to really tell who's going to be, you know, from 9th to 17th. You know, they all kind of look good in their own way, but definitely have some big flaws. So what are your thoughts, guys? Please post them down below. As always, I appreciate the support. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you all in the next video. Stay aesthetic, bras. Beast out. Deuces. And I haven't done this in a while, guys. Just because I know I'm going to get a lot of haters on this video talking mad shit. Do I even lift? Bruh. Bruh. Yeah, I freaking lift, bruh. I think I lift. Do you think you lift? All natty, bro. No synthol. No test. Just God gifted genetics. Majesty says, do you pro bodybuilders even aesthetics? Serious. Look at the cat aesthetics. Look at that stream waistline, those proportions, that pattern. Do you? Baby Nala says, nope. You guys do not even aesthetics. Nope. Sign them out, Majesty. Sign them out. Deuces.